today's cruise will be less than two hours and that's something that we try to do in the winter. We try to limit the amount of time you'll be standing on the back of the stern really because of the cold. So we're now voting to a really exciting place that I can't wait to visit and we have to go up through a set of beautiful locks. Now we could carry on on the Grand Union Canal and get to Birmingham but also we can turn left onto the Stratford and get to Birmingham. We are going on the Stratford Canal. They are going on the Grand Union Canal. Right, so we have to turn left here, but you can see there's a lock up ahead. That takes you through to a little marina. And actually in 1812, that's where the canal terminated. Before we begin our ascent up the Lapworth flight, we have to make a turn to the left and that is because we are going to use the pump out machine. Even though our toilet isn't full, we are trying to take advantage of the fact there's a machine there because there are not very many on this stretch of water. In fact, the next one on Swallows Marina is broken and so the next opportunity to pump out will be the other side of Birmingham, so we're definitely going to pump out today. Yeah, sorry to talk toilets, but the pump out is broken. Another boater just said that it swallowed her card. Each card is worth £20 and it did not actually do anything. So we don't need to pump out yet, but we wanted to pump out because we knew that the machine up there was broken and we know there's not many pump out facilities. So we're just going to have to see how that one pans out. Pan. <laughs> But even though we had just been told that it had taken this lady's credit, we just couldn't help ourselves. We just had to try it. We couldn't leave without trying it. It says in use. It's making a pumping noise. It's working. I'm just going to go and set this lock. But I'm just going to make sure no boats are coming first. In the 1960s, Stratford District Council were all ready to close this canal and turn it into a road due to repair work needed. But campaigners fought to save it. And thank goodness they did because it's so beautiful and absolutely loaded with history. And what with its split bridges to allow the horses' ropes to have slipped through, and the lock keepers' cottages, as well as the barrel roofed cottages, it just makes the whole area a pleasure to cruise through. So we've got moody skies, it's January, we're losing light and there are 15 locks to do, but we're just going to enjoy them. In fact, I think this set of locks could be one of the most beautiful sets of locks on the system. If you've watched a lot of narrowboat vlogs or if you're a boater yourself, what do you think? What are the most beautiful locks on the system? And this is what I love, going underneath this tiny little tunnel-esque bridge, straight into the lock, and then behind admiring the stunning ironwork.
what's also beautiful about this particular section of the Lapworth flight is I've noticed an incredible amount of wildlife hanging around here. The people who live in this house have lived there for 47 years and you can just see why. And here I am in the lock that sits right to the side of the house. Okay, I'm packing a tea, a flask of tea, an apple, a snack, and of course I've got, oh sorry, <laughs> and of course I've got some dog biscuits for Seth, shh, she's just seen them, and um, I'm going to go somewhere and take you with me and show you a place that um, is special. All Zephyr is thinking about is when am I going to get that biscuit? Oh my goodness, I have got to walk past these cars going through these massive puddles. Let's see, I'm going to have to time this well. how much rain we've had. Quick, 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 quick. Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this is an adventure. <laughs> I'm off to visit Packwood House to try and find out some more about Edith Holden. Last week you'll know that I tried to find her favourite house that she lived in because I was moored in Kingswood and this happened. Thank you. Uh, I don't think the existing one is, is here still. But there's bound to be something at Packwood House about her because it says in her biography that she visited it a lot. 
where she describes walking across the fields to get to Packwood House. And her journey to the house looked like this back then. Before this house was given to the National Trust, it was owned by Graham Baron Ash, who wasn't a baron at all. He'd just been christened that so he could get on in life. It's a great idea, isn't it? Because look at this house, he'd obviously done very well for himself. But he needed to restore it and refurbish it back to its original form so that the National Trust would accept it. And this is what he did. I asked one of the guides if he knew anything about Edith Holden and he was new in the house but he said head for the Great Hall because he thought there might be a coat of arms for her family on the wall. But a guide who'd been working there for a long time said Graham Baron Ash didn't know Edith Holden. The previous owners to his family were the people that had known her. I'm going to sit. Sit. So there might not be any reference to Edith Holden in the house itself, but she spent a lot of time in the grounds around here. She spoke of collecting clumps of snowdrops this time of year and how she loved the fish pond. So I'm going to explore all of those areas. So even though there wasn't any reference to Edith in the house itself, it was wonderful to be able to find the same things that she found in the gardens outside. But I did find something else, and purely by accident. The snow going to stop raining. So, I went into the gift shop of Packwood House before I left. I just wanted to buy something as a keepsake of, you know, of exploring the place. And I was really drawn to this, this book. I was drawn to it because of the beautiful painting at the front and it's called A Pot Around the Garden. And I've just bought it back and I have realized, look, I shall read it. I shall read it, it's very exciting. It says about this book, our inspiration came partly from Edith Holden's country diary of an Edwardian lady. Holden lived near Patwood and her beautifully illustrated descriptions of local walks encouraged me to ask Anne, a talented artist, to attempt to capture the garden in a similar way. I am thrilled by the work she produced and hope you'll enjoy the result. So I was drawn to this book and it is the only thing really that mentions Edith Holden 
in the grounds. So I'm inspired by that book. Iron like ivy, twisting inside the frames of the footbridge and narrowboat wide. Kingfisher lockkeeper watches this flight, and tree creeper peeps as it munches a mite. So where am I taking this boat that I steer? When I end my ascent, what will I be near? Snowdrops with raindrops on white petticoats, a pond where Cassandra looks grand as it floats. Where a house overlooks a view of the ewes that deliver a sermon of biblical news. That's where you'll find Alice Baroness Grace. Well, it helped Baronash. Have you seen his old place?